how you guys doing today? I hope you have an amazing day. Guys, it's been a hot minute, but we're back to some more. <gasps> One, okay, rock. Yes, I know it's been a while, but we always gotta make sure we come back around to these guys at least once or twice a month. So, um, I'm kind of running out of songs to react to, so I'm like trying to like find some good ones still to hear, um, because I've done like feel like 10 videos for them but the, the show must go on we can't keep we can't stop these guys these guys are just too talented i gotta keep going with them so um this is actually when i feel like i remember you guys suggesting a lot from the very when i first started reacting to these guys and i kind of i think it kind of got lost on the side burner so we're gonna bring it back around and that is good goodbye and this is going to be the live version from tour 35 xxx xxxv there we go <laughs> and make sure it's so the number of x's i need to say <laughs> um but yes, so we're going to dive into this, and um, this is um, from 2015, which is crazy to think. That was so long ago, you know? Like, I think about 2023, 2015, it's, it's, that's crazy. It's like, it seems like forever ago. Like, what? <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm super excited. I love me some okay, uh, 1OK Rock, so let's do this. Alrighty. 1OK Rock, what you guys got for us? Let's do this. Yay. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Let's just let's just go. <laughs> Ooh, we gonna get acoustic song? Okay, I'm down for that. Ah, uh, yes, green hair Taka, love it. Gosh, his voice is so dope. Everything that I need is right here with me. Come to me. All the I can say is already said. I come to Oh my gosh, this is so, so cool. This is like a style I feel like I've not seen from him yet. Like, like we know, like at least, I should say I know, that he's been able to do like the high note singing in the past. But like on this level, no, I haven't seen this yet. This is so cool. This is like, a, this is like a, an opportunity for us to like see his full potential with his voice, I feel like. And I love this. It's just like, they're giving him this moment where it's just his voice and acoustic guitar. And that's it. That's perfect. That's all you need sometimes. Like, and it gives a nice break, I feel like, during like concerts when they kind of drop it down a little bit. You know, when you have like a band like where it's like rock, like rock and stuff, like it's just like super heavy, like paced, you know, and like you're going like, you know, really energetic. So it's always nice to kind of like break it down a little bit, slow it down, do something acoustic, let everybody kind of breathe, and then you go and bring the show back up again, like in the like, energy, like bring the energy back, I should say. Oh, this is so cool. I love hearing, I love being able to hear his voice like on a level like this. This is so awesome. Um, let me go back, like, just because I want to hear this, uh, part again. Like, at least towards the trail end of it, I should say. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I said, go. There we go. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> mm, absolutely beautiful. Wow. Is this a breakup song? I realized to stay We are to break away Come to me All the can says already said I come to Forget 
Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds almost like a breakup song because it's like he, it's almost like maybe a uh, make a. Cause like, I don't think it's like a like a like a cheating or like broken heart kind of situation. I feel like it's maybe like you're losing the person, like because it's almost like it's like play on words of like a good goodbye. So it's almost saying like it's not like a sad goodbye. It's like a good goodbye. Almost like it's like this was like a good breakup. Like maybe like it was like a, a toxic relationship or something like that. But like the problem is, is that it was like it all sound. It all was like it was like it was great at the beginning, but then like the relationship turned toxic. So it's like you hold on to like you have all those good memories, but then like the bad memories come like fluttering into like, and it's the most recent thing you know is the bad memories. So, <clears throat> excuse me, lose my voice for a second there. It was weird. Um, yeah, so maybe this is like a. I don't know. This is interesting because it's like I feel like it's a play on words here, saying like a good goodbye. Instead of, like, it's, like, a bad goodbye, like, you know, like, because, uh, like, like, a like a cheating situation would be, like, a bad goodbye. But, like, maybe a good goodbye is, like, a, it was, like, a, it was, like, a really, like, clean breakup, maybe? I don't know. I, I And maybe I'm totally wrong with this. I mean, obviously, this is my interpretation. This is kind of, like, what I'm getting from hearing the lyrics. So, of course, let me know in the comments what your interpretation is or what you think his interpretation was or it was meant to be. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of, like, what I'm thinking. That's, that's kind of, like, the gist I'm getting so far. So yeah, let's just keep going though. I'm definitely intrigued to see if I can maybe pick up some more cues. Something about acoustic guitar just really hits me. It's one of my favorite instruments to hear it played. Oh, I always love when he does this. It's so perfect for concerts. Wasted with you, like it was like not a good relationship, maybe. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was wow. I love, I love how he does that. I always like love that. Like, and see, the cool thing is, it's like you would think, like, if you ah, sorry, hang on. Okay, now went away. Sorry, the ad started playing. <laughs> I was gonna say let's let's just come talk around. Uh, talk, come talk to you about this. Words, the words, Tyler. Use your language. <laughs> right, there we go. I was gonna say, um, I, I love how he like will do like that, like crowd engaging like moment like that. But like this time around, because the crowd knew it was like a slower song, he didn't or they didn't like engage with him. Not to like show like disrespect, obviously, but just like more so to show like. Um, like, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like respect, I guess, would be the, I guess the other word to use, because that's the opposite of disrespecting. <laughs> like, just sort of, like, respect to his craft and show respect to, like, because, like, you can see at the end there, he's got his eyes closed, he's feeling the music, he's in that moment, and, um, he's just, you know, and that's, that's what I love to see, like, you know a singer, like, knows, or I should say, you know a singer feels what he's singing about when he's got his eyes closed, or she has her eyes closed for that matter, um, and they're in the moment, just like feeling that, like, just like, you know, it's, it's also like, even for the listener, like sometimes, like, even for me, like sometimes I think there's like a really emotional song or like somebody's just like doing some just phenomenal, like music or uh, like lyrics or, um, it's something that feels like, like moving me. I'll close my eyes. So I don't have anything, like, that way I'm not like, getting distracted by anything like around me. And I just like feel the music, you know? And it's, it, I feel like it's probably many of you probably out there have done that before. And you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Just closing your eyes and just being lost in the music. It's just such a great feeling. I feel like that's exactly what 1OK Rock's music does for you. They're one of those bands where you just close your eyes, feel their music, embrace it, and like, 
you just fall in love with it. Like, because Tonka's voice is just, like, so extraordinary. And, like, it's, 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 like, he has this, like, perfect, like, almost, like, strain that he uses with his voice. Not, like, a bad strain. Like, but he has, it's, like, he has such great vocal control that he can use this, like, constant, like, little bit of strain when he's, like, doing that one part at the end where he's, like, ah, ah, like, that part. Um, and, like, for him to, like, do that strain and then hold that note out is, like, so impressive. Like, oh my gosh, like, Tonka's voice is just one of a kind, honestly. And, um, One Ok Rock is just one of a kind of band, you know? I mean, my gosh, what kind of, I mean, how many, how many other bands do you see out there that just have such, like, like, how many bands out there can you honestly say that their lives, um, I guess you'd say live performances are better than their, like, actual music in the studio? Like, there's only a few that I could probably name, and, like, they're definitely one of them. <laughs> but man, oh my gosh, that was such a good song, phenomenal performance. Love being able to see Taka's voice in this kind of style. It's so awesome. Um, anyways, guys, that was my reaction to One OK Rocks. Good goodbye. Um, let me know what you guys think about the interpretation of this song. And um, if you think that I was like um, kind of spot on, or if like bits and pieces of what I said kind of made sense with it, or if you guys have a totally different interpretation, let me know down below in the comments. Um, and also, guys, please take the time to like, subscribe, and make sure you click on that bell notification to be alerted whenever I start a new group and new artist, new band in my channel. Besides that, you guys are awesome. I love you guys. And as always, bye.